Hey, what's up everybody? Ben here from blogwithben.com. And today I'm gonna to show you how to create a professional media kit using Kittle. And if you're a blogger, you already know the importance of presenting yourself professionally when reaching out to brands and collaborators. And a well-designed media kit can be your golden ticket to landing sponsorships, partnerships, or even guest blogging opportunities. And the best part, you don't need to hire a designer and you can get started for free. And real quick, before we get started, if you get any value out of this video, I would greatly appreciate it if you would subscribe to the Blog With Ben YouTube channel. Helps me bring you more resources and it keeps you up to date with all the AI, web, and tech trends happening throughout the year. But either way, thank you so much for all your support. All right, with that being said, let's get started. Getting started with Kittle is super simple and free. From their homepage, click the Try Kittle for Free button, and then you'll create your account. You can sign up with an email address or create your password, or you could log in via your Google or Facebook accounts, but either way, once you're in, you'll have access to a ton of customizable templates and everything you need to start creating professional designs like your media kit. Now, just a heads up for this tutorial, I'll be using a paid Kittle plan, so I'll have access to some additional templates and features you can definitely still create some amazing graphics with the free Kittle account, but for complete transparency, as we're going through this tutorial, I just wanted to let you know that I have upgraded to a paid Kittle plan. And if that's something you wanna do, use the link in the video description below and coupon code blogbinyt during checkout for 25% off the first month or first year of all paid plans, both pro and expert. And that's just a way to save some money if you wanna upgrade. Okay, on that note, let's create our media kit. So from your account homepage, this is where you can browse Kittle's pre-made templates to help narrow your focus for a specific project. This is designed to make it easy to start creating quickly. And at the top of the page, you'll see various categories such as merchandising, marketing, social, stationery, branding, and more. And these categories help you narrow down templates based on the type of design project you wanna create. And for this video, we're creating a media kit and those templates are located in the marketing category. So go ahead and select that one. Then you'll be presented with all of the templates within the marketing category, but you can filter them down even more here. As you can see, there are subcategories within the marketing category where you can narrow your focus and access templates for specific types of projects, like a media kit, which is the very last option there. So let's go ahead and click on that one. And this opens all of the media kit templates where if you scroll down, you'll see what's available. And it used to be that you had to hire an expensive designer or even have a ton of graphic design knowledge or software to make designs like this. But now with Kittle and their pre-made media kit templates, you can bypass all of that and create a professional design that will help promote you and your brand. And once you find a template you wanna use, you could preview them by clicking this little eye icon in the upper right corner of these template samples. And this gives you a larger preview and better idea of what the template looks like the font used, color scheme, etc. All customizable in the editor, I might add, but this is a great way to see if the design will work for you and your project. And I like this one, so let's go with it. And whenever you're ready to use a template, just click the use this design button towards the upper left corner there. And this will bring you to Kittle's one-of-a-kind web-based editor, where you'll see the template has been added to your artboard and is ready for you to start editing. And this editor offers high quality elements, photos, textures, and fonts built in, enabling bloggers and content creators to concentrate on the creative process rather than spending time searching for resources across multiple platforms. And before we start using this editor, let me give you a really quick tour so you'll know where everything is before you start editing your media kit. So starting in the left-hand sidebar, you have access to a ton of tools to help you enhance your designs and workflow. Here you can access additional templates to add to your artboard, you can add text. You can add elements like shapes, frames, and illustrations. You can upload your own images and even use Kittle's AI tools, which consists of the AI generator for images, sets, and designs, as well as the AI co-pilot. Now, we're not gonna use these AI tools in this tutorial, but I highly recommend testing them out whenever you have some extra time. 
I go into greater detail on how to use these AI features in my other Kittle tutorials, which you can access in the video description below. So check those out if you wanna learn how to get the most out of these AI tools. Okay, moving on to the upper left corner of the editor. That K icon will take you back to the template selector homepage. Next to that is where you can name your project. Just type in that field what you want the new name to be. Next to that, you could choose a selector to use in the editor like the mouse pointer and that'll move around your artboard or you can create a custom sized artboard with that little square icon. Then towards the right, you have your notifications, mockup creator, share option, the ability to print and download, as well as this avatar where you can access your account settings, projects and subscription info. Then if you shift your focus to the bottom right corner of the screen, here you can configure your project's color scheme, which we'll do in just a bit. And then next to that is where you can access and manage the layers being used in the template of your artboards. Then towards the middle of the bottom of the screen there is your redo and undo and the zoom in and zoom out buttons. And then hiding over there in the bottom left corner are the shortcuts menu. Clicking that opens a pop-up display of all the keyboard shortcuts to help you be more efficient with Kittle's editor. And then the help button gives you access to the help center. You can open the chat bot. You could submit a feature request and even access additional tutorials to help you get the most out of Kittle. Then in the middle of the screen is your template. And due to the template you select, there may be multiple artboards. That's what Kittle calls each one of these sections here. These are artboards and they are 100% customizable here in the web-based editor. Again, you can even add additional artboards to this screen if you want, but for now, I'm sticking with these two and will customize them to make my media kit. And speaking of that, now that you know your way around the editor, let's start designing. Okay, now the fun begins. This is where you turn into a digital artist and editing these templates couldn't be any easier. As you can see, when you hover your mouse over some elements in the template, they are outlined to indicate that you can edit them. These outlines show the boundaries of the text, images, or graphic elements that you can modify. And clicking on an outlined element lets you adjust its content, resize, reposition, or apply design changes like fonts, colors, or effects. And this visual feedback ensures that you're interacting with the right element, making customization intuitive and precise. And the great thing about it is that you can make and see your edits right here in real time. From swapping out text like I'm doing now, to adjusting the width and layout of elements within the template. And I'm not gonna edit this entire template in this video, but hopefully you're starting to get the idea of how this works. Also, let's say I delete this phone number here towards the bottom and then reposition the email text element. You'll see these blue dashed lines that appear. These are alignment guides and they help you precisely position text, images, or graphics to maintain balance and visual consistency in your design and they indicate alignment with other elements. And when an alignment snaps to these guides, it ensures professional looking symmetry and spacing in your template. I really love this feature. Okay, then let me show you another example of repositioning elements within the template. I obviously wanna change the name being used on this media kit, but whenever I start typing that element, my name is a different length and doesn't look right but you can drag and drop the outlined borders of each element to resize and reposition them so that they fit nicely within the rest of the content. How cool is that? Then another type of edit you can make is in the text setting. So let's say I change this about Ben text to be a short bio about me. But when I do, it kind of overlaps with that social media stats section. Now I can either reword this to make it fit or I can change the font size in the settings toolbar on the right hand side of the screen. Simply highlight the text that you want to edit and then find the font size in the settings and then click on it to adjust the font size until you find something that works and check that out. Looks much better. Just another way to make some edits here within the web editor. But now that I'm looking at it, it still looks a little off, but no worries. You can actually move entire sections all at once by simply highlighting what you want to edit and this groups them together. And then you can perform an action that affects everything that has been grouped. And if I press down on my keyboard, you'll see the entire highlighted social media stats section move down, allowing me to reposition it so that it aligns with the rest of the template. 
Okay, next, let's change these images. So by default, all templates come with placeholder images that will need to be replaced. And all you'll do is click on the image to select it, and then click delete on your keyboard, and that removes it. And then since this is a media kit, I obviously wanna add an image of myself. So in that case, we'll need to upload our own images to use. So within the toolbar on the left-hand side of the screen, find the uploads button. And then from here, you'll have access to your media library where all of your current uploaded images will be stored. And you could use these for your projects, but you can also upload new images, which is what I'm gonna do. So click that upload button and you'll see the accepted file types there on the button and then find the image that you wanna use. And when you select it, at least for me, it took a few seconds to show up in my media library. So if you're not seeing your image for any reason right away, just refresh the page and it should be there in your media library. Okay, then to add it to the template, click on it and then drag and drop the image to reposition it. And again, you have a ton of flexibility on how to go about this. I'm resizing it so that the edges of this image are aligned and even with the margins around the text. And then once you get it set, if you double click on the image, you can crop it, allowing you to make it the perfect size. And then just drag and drop the image element to reposition it in the template. There we go. And then if you scroll up a bit on the artboard, you'll be able to crop the top of the image as well. And then you can even drag the image to reposition it within the frame. And there we go. I like that. And then if you look at that second artboard, you'll see that this template has a few more images where in order to edit them, you would just need to do the exact same thing that we just did with that larger image of myself. Just upload new images to use and then add them to the template and resize and reposition them. And for the sake of time, I'm gonna speed through that, but whenever it's done, this is what those images could look like. And I've uploaded some images of myself in my office and it matches the overall vibe of my media kit. I love it. Then as you can see, all the other text and image elements are customizable. Just hover your mouse over them and click on them and you can start making your edits. Again, for the sake of time, I'm not gonna make you sit through me editing all of this text in this template, but I hope you're starting to see how easy it is. And I also hope that you're getting some ideas as to how you could edit this template to make it your own. Okay, another really cool feature I wanna show you is the project colors selector. And if you look in the bottom right corner of the editor, you'll see these color swatches. And this is the current color palette being used. But if you click on it, it opens a huge list of additional color palettes that you can browse and choose from. Towards the top are the current colors being used, which you can change one by one if you need specific colors. And then this is what I really like. Below that are the pre-made color palettes, where if you hover your mouse over each one, you could see the power of this feature. It changes the colors of each template, saving you a ton of time, and it's keeping everything consistent around the entire media kit. Again, I can't even begin to tell you how much time this is saving me. I know I sound like a broken record, but I'm just a huge fan of this feature. Okay, once you find a color palette that you like, just click on it and that will be applied to the media kit on each artboard. All right, so that's gonna do it for the edits. My media kit is ready to be shared with the world and future business opportunities. So whenever you're done making your edits, you can download your project and convert it to a more shareable file. And to do that, simply click the download button in the upper right corner of the screen and this opens the download options. First is the artboards dropdown. This is where you can select whether to download all artboards or a specific artboard for your project. I want both, so I'll keep all artboards selected. Next is file type. Here you can choose your preferred format such as PNG, JPEG, SVG, or PDF depending on your needs. Next is width and height. This is where you could set the dimensions of your design in pixels, inches, or other units. You could also unlock the aspect ratio if you want to customize the dimensions separately. And then again, you could also adjust the unit type and export resolution. Below that, you can remove the background and just toggle this option to export your design with a transparent background if needed. This is useful for logos or overlays. And then the optimize quality. If you enable this, this will enhance the output quality, especially for detailed graphics. And for this example, I'm just gonna flip that on. Okay, then once you've configured your settings, click the download button 
and this will save your design in the selected format and your media kit is ready to be shared and connect you with future business opportunities, partnerships, and collaborations. All right, that's gonna do it for this template tutorial. Next, let me quickly go over the different Kittle pricing and plan options if you're thinking about upgrading. So I realize that a lot of bloggers operate with limited financial resources and sometimes can't really afford expensive design software or hire professional designers, especially if you're running your blog all by yourself. But thankfully, Kittle offers budget-friendly pricing options, making professional design tools accessible to bloggers with limited funds. Also, you can obviously get started with Kittle for free and still do a ton of really cool things with the software. However, whenever you're ready to upgrade, if you hover your mouse over your profile avatar in the upper right corner and then select subscription, you'll be taken to the pricing page where you can get a better idea at the plans offered and their price. And be sure to use coupon code BLOGBINYT for 25% off the first month if you purchase a month-to-month -month plan or 25% off the first year on all annual plans, both for the pro and expert subscription tiers. And this is also for new users only. But either way, Kittle is by far one of, if not the most affordable graphic design platforms on the market. I can almost guarantee that you're not gonna find a tool with all of these features for less than $100 per month. And you can get started with the pro plan for only $10 per month. That is a great deal. So whether you're just starting out with the pro plan or need the full power of the expert or business plans, Kittle gives you everything you need to create stunning visuals for your blog without the hassle. It's affordable, flexible, and packaged with advanced AI features to help you bring your creative ideas to life. So if you're ready to take your blog's design to the next level, give Kittle a try. And as always, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you never miss out on more tips and tools to make your blogging journey easier. And as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. So that's gonna do it for this video. If you found it helpful, I'd greatly appreciate it if you would like, comment, share, and subscribe to the Blog With Ben YouTube channel. Also, if you're looking to start a blog, check out these two videos on how to build, grow, and monetize a WordPress blog. They'll walk you through the entire process step-by-step. Step. And as always, your support means a great deal to me and my family, and for that, I thank you. So with that being said, I'll see you in the next video, and thanks for watching.